Hi, I'm Kerry Strain. In the next few minutes, I want to share with you ways to improve your practice of production and collection and help you manage your overhead so that you have the profitability that allows you to uh, have the confidence to give it your all every moment of the day without any distractions due to economic or administrative stress. When that happens, you're going to be able to deliver on your mission, your promise, and experience the joy that you've always intended. And that's what I hope for you. Let's start with ways to increase your production. There are three ways to increase a practice's production predictably. Number one is we need to increase providers as a result of increasing the number of patients in continuing care who will not only benefit the hygiene department's revenue, but be a source of supply for the doctor's production as well. Number two, we certainly want to help the doctor and the team deliver on their promise that's housed in their treatment planning philosophy. We want to help practices perfect the education of their patients so that the case acceptance is reflective of the type of dentistry they want to offer to the type of patient that they want to have in the practice. We want to see our non-surgical perio maintenance program come to life. We want to see that the, the, the education that the dentist has with respect to certain dental procedures comes a reality in the lives of the patients because that will represent fulfillment from the investment of time and money the dentist has given to their continuing education. And last, when we reach our targeted number of patients in continuing care and that we're delivering on our treatment planning goals, we want to capitalize on the opportunity with if there is ongoing new patient flow to increase fees. And let me just say, most dental practice owners can take the guesswork out of fee setting by working with their Henry Schein team of field sales consultants. Over the last several years, I've had the privilege of helping the Henry Schein team develop their digital practice analysis tool, which consists of three parts, one of which is the fee analysis summary. And if you spend a moment with your field sales consultant reviewing where your fees are compared to the market, it's going to take the guesswork out of your next fee change and you're going to find yourself in a non-threatening, non-offensive pathway to really being able to realize the fees that your mission should earn. I wish you the best as you move forward in this revenue enhancement strategy. The next step of increasing profitability is certainly over time we want to increase our rates of collections. Practices are today are building out, billing out for services at their fees and yet having to make adjustments when participating in reduced fee plans. But as you reach your potential of patients in their patient base, when you can't see any more patients, there's no room in hygiene in the next six months for any more patients, yet you continue to take new patients, you'll be able to realize the rewards of having built a dedicated team and correspondingly a dedicated patient base who want to pay the fees you charge and are willing to pay for it even if you're out of network with their insurance company that they are a member of. That can only happen confidently by you when you have more patients waiting to get into the hygiene schedule and into your schedule than you have room for in excess of the patients who might not participate with your practice if they in fact decide not to come back due to the fact that you're not in network with their insurance company. I wish you the best as you move forward with this decision when you're at a point where demand is greater than supply. As we move into profitability management, we're now producing and collecting at the rates that we've set for your financial forecast. Managing overhead becomes uh, less stressful because you have the cash to be able to pay your bills on time, every time, and establish working capital reserves. Dental supplies, lab bill, bills are going to run somewhere between 5 to 7 percent. Rent's going to be somewhere between 3 to 5 percent at market value. Your staff wages are going to be, the industry says, somewhere between 18 and 24 percent, not including payroll tax, taxes, workers' comp, employee benefit programs. GNA is going to be somewhere between 8 and 12 percent. If a practice owner with a standard bread and butter treatment planning philosophy, manages 12 to 1400 patients in their hygiene department 
with approximately 20 to 33 percent of them in their non-surgical perio program. Production will be somewhere between a million two to a million four a year, hopefully collection somewhere between 95 and 98 percent if not higher, and overhead will be somewhere around 50 percent. Now that's overhead before the owner's payroll, debt service, corresponding depreciation and interest, setting aside money for working capital reserves or paying off lines of credit or any other liabilities that the practice may have. May have. But there will be significant cash flow. In managing your overhead and in generating this extra cash flow, I want you to keep your eye on the working capital reserves a practice should establish before the owner can take out anything more than a, a budgeted amount of cash flow for their, their personal well-being. We recommend that a practice establish a working capital reserve of approximately $100,000 per general dentist and have a checking account that's in the black. When you have a balance sheet that looks like that and you've reduced your current liabilities to virtually nothing because you're paying your bills and you may have long-term debt or no, no debt at all, you have a practice that's got the financial foundation so that, that allows you not to have any significant distractions and allows you to focus on delivering on your mission, communicating with your patients and leading your team on a daily basis so that you realize the production goals that you recognize in your financial forecast and experience continued rates of strong positive cash flow. I wish you the best as you implement your plan.